5G and artificial intelligence will bring major disruption to the smartphone market. That's according to LG Electronics' uh, CTO, who spoke exclusively to CNBC. Did he speak to you? He spoke to me, Steve. Oh, yeah. Wow. I was, uh, good morning to you, Arjun. Good morning, Steve. I was at the IFA Electronics, uh, Consumer Electronics Show last week. Independent Financial Advisors That's Conference, uh, yes. <laughs> Or does it mean something it's else? A, it means something else. It's a, it's it a long... I don't know. It's in German. <laughs> uh, my German's not very good. <laughs> I knew you were going to go, go there. Let's go with Independent Financial Advisors <laughs> Conference then. <laughs> the biggest consumer electronics show in Europe. That's what it stands for, I think. Uh, okay. But anyways, I, look. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was there. I was chatting to the uh, chief technology officer at LG. Now, look, LG has struggled massively in the smartphone market. Just the last quarter, um, the mobile division lost 136 billion Korean won. It's been struggling against new players from China, the likes of Huawei, for example. And... and it's got a really tiny market share, and that's a big problem. So I caught up with the CTO, that's Dr. I.P. Park, and asked him what his plans were to turn around the division. Let's listen in to what he had to say. I think we're going to see some major disruption in the industry with the upcoming 5G and also with this innovation such as AI. So hopefully we'll turn this around very soon. Have you ever considered getting rid of the mobile business at LG, given that it is such a loss maker? Um, no, uh, not for me to comment, but no. The industry has spoken about a few trends. You mentioned 5G. For LG, how big is that going to be, not just for smartphones, but, but some of your other businesses too? You know, every device we make are going to be 100% connected. Now, right now with Wi-Fi, but with 5G, more and more devices will be connected, not only mobile phone, cars, but other devices. So 5G will play a huge role for us. The, the industry also has spoken about perhaps some new trends in terms of the design and technologies implemented in smartphones that could reinvigorate some of the growth. One of those is folding screen technologies. That's something you have yourself shown off in, in larger formats as well. Is this something we consumers should expect to see in smartphones next year, perhaps? You'll see many different types of form factors coming up next year, next two years. You know, you know, we'll, you'll, you'll be the first one to know. That was Dr. I.P. Park there, the CTO of LG Electronics. And he seems to think that new features, the likes of 5G technology, perhaps even new types of phones, new forms of phones could help to reinvigorate LG's mobile division. But look, it's a very tough task. You've got Huawei really pushing ahead in that same price point as LG. You've got Samsung and Apple, of course, in the high end. And, and they're facing very stiff competition from a lot of the Chinese players at a time when overall the smartphone market is slowing significantly. And that's a big problem for LG at the moment. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.